Hey, hey, Aries, this is Joy with Joy of the World, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here at Joy of the World, give us a big thumbs up, like, and share. And to those of you who have given donations into the channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's a great way to keep it going here at Joy of the World. So, Aries, sometimes they like me to share the background of my life. Why? I figure it's irrelevant, but they're like, no, please do, please do. So anyways, um, you know, this is where I usually like to work on the uh, every other week. And I keep on the decks here. And when I cleaned up my readings from yesterday, some other cards spilled out. And I say spilled out, mean they're ready to talk, they're ready to be here, they're ready to live and let live. And I didn't take a look at them. They said set these out and leave them there. And sometimes I know that's for the next reading that's coming up, maybe the next day when I start recording. Other times it can be an energy session for maybe someone I know, someone I love, um, some stranger I just met, or also people I've never met, maybe one of you guys. But it's part of my life of knowing it's the actualization of the action being put along with the potential, being put along to receive the message coming in. And that doesn't mean I always have to pay attention to it. So I got ready to clear it so that I can meditate for you guys. And they're like, er, full stop, uh-uh. This is for Aries. So that's a mouthful there, y'all. But anyways, we're going to take a dive in to see what it is that you've been lining up. Setting this up in, it's kind of like magic, y'all. It's setting out these intentions that align with the energies of the universe and create this connection where things create a, well, a ladder, a stairway to heaven, where the uh, dialogue, the conversation can begin. So let's start here. We're going to dive in with an energy oracle. Let's get some momentum here on the read for Aries. Glad you're here today. Hope things are going well for you. I see you right there. Um, and if they're not, I pray they start getting better. Together we're better, we're stronger, we're braver. Okay. So anyways, number 46, Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Mm, 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 mm. If you know me by now, you know I love Metatron. He's one of my primaries. To me, Metatron and Sandalfon, oh, very funny, go together. So, bibbity bobbity boo There you are. We're going to pitch you like this, guys, actually. Um, to me, Metatron and Sandalfon are partners. They're mates. They go together. They work together. They're unionized. Not the way humans do. They're in union. Um, they're partners. They're mates. And Metatron accesses all the information, bits, bytes, pieces, almost like tabs, tiles, uh, containers, containments, the big picture, the whole picture, the flash of understanding, the words of knowledge, the gifts of knowledge, abilities, psychic, the clears, that sort of thing. And um, being fully connected to, we could say universal energy, but it's so much more than that. There's so much more beyond that, but the whole and then Sandalfine comes in as like the bits, the dust, the debris, and that's not who or what he is. Uh, well, she. Sandalfine, what that Sandalfine energy is, is like um, the components. Does that make sense? Like the ingredients in the recipe. That even though the cake is baked, there are the bits of the flour, the sugar, the egg that came together to make it. Well, Sandalfine is that... They're like that, well, like that direction that we were talking about coming in, the, the going together, that type of a thing. So we got some jazzy stuff going on here. All right, at the very top, we're going to start with ladder, climbing towards success. That's what y'all are wanting to know, how to make the upward climb. Sometimes this card comes in and it is linear. It's like a sideways promotion, more work, more effort, more change, and nothing improves no reward nothing gets better it gets better for the other party but not for you but this jumping in with the, with the pairing of Sandalfon and Metatron coming in together they are the perfect partners they are complements to one another 
So out beside the ladder, we have the Angelarium card, which they're very much about aligning the eyes, our powers, our channels, so that this full energy, okay. So if the ladder works, you're showing me it's like our DNA, which spirals, it twists, and it, it's a chain going like this. It's like a ladder. You're talking about um, the eyes, the four eyes, the lining up of our chakras are like an unfurling of that chain. And as it unfurls, it creates these energy centers. You could say points of tension, but they're created for this. They're points of intention where energy can enter in and exit out. Because to me, Samafa is an infiltrating energy. It's the one that can go beyond walls, go beyond boundaries, go find information, extract it, pass back through the wall by breaking into particles, and then regenerating and transferring the information without losing any of it. Interesting. So next to the ladder, the DNA spiraling and unspiraling. I knew these were energetic uh, sessions this week for each sign, but... I mean, you're making my jaw hit the floor, y'all. Like the bridge in my nose is humming. Uh, Pisces, you talk about some energetic direction and the new age of the shift into the 200 years of air coming. It's so much that I, I kind of went to get an encyclopedia and began to write down the dialogue. So anyways, next to ladder, we, ladder, we have Chokma coming in, which is wisdom. It says the right eye of wisdom. And so your right eye is connected to your left hand. And that has to do with your potential. Knowing what is your inborn potential. But there's um, there's something that went on there. You, you became kind of allergic to who you are because there's a, a clotting factor going on. And our body tends to clot or coagulate around offending energies, around invasions and things like that. It's almost like somebody invaded your privacy, you're saying. Like people getting into your mind, planting ideas there, unwanted ideas. So if you're talking about the ladder and climbing towards success, this time it is a bit of career orientation, but not understanding the balance or the interplay between the two about how it benefits you because you're showing me that you're having to, to do that all the intake work of all this oxygenation, bringing in, bringing something to life, vitalizing that sort of thing, but you're left depleted, waning, weary, and tired. So you don't know how to fully connect with that system. But what I see is it has to do with something of the mind, which is why wisdom came in your right eye, understanding your potential. Because the unique thing, the arteries carry the oxygenated blood and they take it outward away from the heart, arteries away, AA, and they take it out to vitalize the parts of the body and to get the motion, the activation going on. Well, as the oxygen gets used up from the blood in those areas, we have the veins that then it transfers from artery to vein and the veins help break, bring it up against the gradient against gravity okay and move back returning because it is lighter it's out of oxygen you're like what does that have to do with me and Zorro is stepping in putting a signature on it like the Z the period the punctuation is coming just hang on y'all I'm right here with you I don't even know I'm like what <laughs> but um you being able to get into the juice of knowing how it transfers from arteries to veins, the veins have their purpose. It allows it to travel faster to move in the state of air is what you're saying. Okay. Very airy as opposed to the earth energy. It's unfurling. The old system is breaking away in the plaques. So you'll be able to move faster, which is very in tune and in touch with your energy Aries. But you are the blood, you are the pumping, you are that heat, you are that sensation, that activation. So it's almost like that that retraction, that uh, contraction, that retreat, that withdrawal, like you, I see your hands flying up, like you resist that energy and you're almost pressing against it. Like if there were a doorway, you have your feet on either side and you're still holding on to the rope, trying to bring it back, pull it back, reel it in because fire feeds earth. And, and you're so used to being able to see the application of your energy to see. You're going to see, to see, to see, to touch, taste, feel, and smell. Well, you're about to witness it. Because they're showing me. They're like, oh, tell them. <laughs> um, 
literally fire feeds earth air feeds fire okay because this is becoming like the wind that lightness that wind moves about oxygen feeds the fire okay so you're about to be fed let in this energy it is benevolent allow it to take care of you i'm there i cannot leave these alone so i've got to look at chakra here and we're going to get a room card on it so that you no. hello 24 not happening come on y'all clear clear bring it down give us like laser honed penetrating the bullseye new world energy on this air this vein this going against the gradient the the swiftness of the flow for aries what is this about talk to me give you one more chance i know you have a lot to say okay i'll take a couple there it is oh y'all what is this about so we're gonna start here with the one that had to slip through it is called gateway isn't that funny it's like i didn't slip through i'm opening up so you can slip through we're, we're opening this gateway actually so that energy this this airiness see like the veins that could seem depleted like you were all used up is coming to actually revitalize you this swift moving energy this ascension it turns the cycle and it comes back down and it goes up again okay they're like it's um like a reel it's like a reel so anyways gateway new horizons expose contemplation review examine non-action transform okay allow they're really talking about allow this energy allow your mind to remain neutral for a time not empty neutral observance watchful seeing seeing how the energy moves how it interacts with you begin to study it because you'll you'll be able to see the essence of who and what it is and this creates an expansion for you it's making room for you it's making room for what's next is what i'm seeing okay so apparently these are for all of them so that goes there 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 okay y'all are definitely in control <laughs> i am like what is up so tell us a little bit more about this gateway this neutrality for aries here in this ladder in this Z, in this reeling in okay 15 elixir of life you about to get drunk on your love you're gonna be in love with yourself aries as if you weren't already excited about yourself they said excitement isn't always love but love does lead to excitement about holding yourself in your own hand literally watching the essence of who you are not just what you produce the the outcome the the you know tactile bits those type of things they're saying getting to know yourself for the sake of knowing yourself for the pure enjoyment and pleasure of it. I love it. I mean, look at your hair cascading back, unfurling like the wind, like this wind energy here. Can you see? Can you see that? Look. Getting high and drunk on love, love in love with yourself. That's what it begins to expose. You're going to find out how much you like yourself, which you already do. You already know it, but it's such a power forward mindset that it's mind over matter, mind over matter, mind over matter. You've never taken the time. That's why Metatron is glaring at me like, hello, have them look at my mind. Have them look at the connection to all the energy in all the sources of life, all the stars of all the galaxies, all that creative power and innuendo innuendo first time they've used that word in one of the reads cosmic they're ready for you to have playtime not just fun but like playtime it's almost like being in a physics lab you know physics are where the seen and the unseen sciences marry and dance together Okay, so we're gonna walk away from that for a moment, make a move on down. 
let's take a second to look at this since this is where we came in. We entered in through 40, which is divine perfection, establishment. It's beyond a foundation. It is being established, being established in your comings and your goings, in the big picture and in the fine details, getting familiar with this energy of yourself. It's almost like when this occurs that it's like a drop of water on the sea and the sunshine on the seed, it simply opens, unfurls, and awakens what was within all along. And you quickly get pace with this and get on board with all of it and connect with the rhythm of your own heartbeat. So the T card that came in here is the hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. You're wanting to know about mastery the mastery in your own hand, the mastery of your own heart, the mastery of your own, you're saying divination. But what to better to deal with it? Because Samophon and Metatron are uh, angels that were once human beings, okay? Um, they were humans that became angels. Often what's going on here are, are angels that became humans. But we have those who were able to excel to that level because of their connection, their cosmic connection, their ability to go beyond possibility, to so open and connect like the pyramids, that um, divine energy of heaven on earth in being established and that thus the 40, y'all, it's making me just crawl all over. That is a lot of beauty and life going on there. Okay. So along with it, the room card that came in is recover. You are important. So somewhere you lost sight of this part of yourself about the functioning of your spiritual nature is kind of what they're saying about the feeding. Oh, I don't like the word, but they're saying fondling. Like, um, but they say manipulate clashes with the human ear, with the American ear, um, but to fondle means to move around with fondness, to move through the hand, tactily processing and growing with it. Like babies do when they're, they're teething or, or mulling something over, they'll take that rattle or whatever and just move it all through the mouth. They're like somatically processing through the, the mind's eye, the roof of the mouth. Well, that's what they're wanting you to begin to do with life, to begin to move through it, but allow all of yourself to touch it and allow it to touch all of yourself. Just like some people are contented sitting on the shore watching the ocean. They're like, we want you to get in and get wet, to experience it with all your senses, not just with your eyes, your ears, your, your nose, but to get in with your largest organ, that contact of touch. Because when you touch earth, heaven touches earth. That's intense. When you touch earth, heaven touches earth. And when heaven touches earth, it creates change. It creates that possibility. It is this, like this profusion, this explosion of the stars. Beyond the star dust, it is the stars. Almost like nebula energy. Because I was, you know, chewing on the idea of nebula and how beautiful they are and their fantastic selves before this shot out. And then they've been sitting here working this energy wanting, you know, to touch earth with you. Okay, so I'm going to get um, a tattoo tarot to give me a little bit more on this recovery of self for Aries here. What up? Tell us what. One or two cards, please. Okay. I thought maybe if I hummed to him, they might like it and come on out. Okay, the Knave of Coins. They're offering you, this is how you prosper. This is actually, it's, you're part of fortune. It is um, the soft and the sweet side of life. It's your effortless self. So, um, this channel's open to anybody. That's why it's called Joy to the World. But a lot of the American mindset has to do with 
It's got to be hard work to look like you earned it. That's how you apply yourself. That's how you truly grow. Burn the candle at both ends. Burn, burn rubber baby. You know, shooting star all the way, full on head, you know, headlong, whole hog, that type of thing. But you're telling a different story. Your authority and power, your Sandalfly and Metatron unity, which is more than they are individually, when they are together in, in complement like this, it becomes a dynamic duo, okay? And so not only are just you important, who you are and how you're crafted and created is important, but you need to know this part. You need to see and know the value of your spirit, of your divinity, of that royal establishment that you have in the stars. I mean, when, when you chill in with the uh, humans who became angels, who accelerated to those levels that they were chosen above angels that knew all the comings and goings of how heaven and the cosmos and uh, the universe and omniverse and all that work. And they're like, they got the top chairs. I'd be tuning in, listening, because if anybody could communicate to us and give us the skinny, the, the like bare naked truth on the inside, it would be Sandalfine and Metatron. And here they're talking about your part of fortune. It's about the sweet spot. The good, easy part of life is being a natural at it. Effortless. What is effortless for you? That's what I'm going to ask. What is effortless for you, Aries, aside from that blunt force of, you know, you go, you, you're just going to, you'll start out on step one, it'll all just happen. Yeah, you've done that for the sake of others or for the sake of getting things done. What about for the sake of self? What about for this cosmic energy? What about for the stars touching the earth? What if you dove in into pleasure that way, into engaging with life and all this creative force and power that's around us, all this air, all this energy? Uh, okay, so now they're talking about the omnios. I'm like, I don't even know what that is. It is like we as humans have amnios around us. It's, it's like... Um, that plasma energy of our ability to create with the energies of life's forces. But they're talking about the, the, this comes from the realm beyond the source of all things. Okay. We're going to let that one be there and be exactly what it is. So next, uh, cause whew, you talk about intense. This is like I'm having the melding of the energies of the two worlds coming together. This is their desire for us. And our desire for ourselves. Why can't we see that we are important? That this is how it's meant to be. That we've been shaped by our experience. But we had already divined and crafted this um, through our omnipotence of knowing this before we even generate it. You know, they say, like, uh, without, you know, they say without lifting a finger or just the press of a button, just so you know, my camera just totally shut off. No rhyme, no reason. Just an energetic flash of some intense, strong energy. Talk about heat. Um, that, that simplicity, the press of a button. And let's get cooking. That's what they're talking about. So underneath here making room for the next wave is the wishbone. A wish is granted. And this is a heart-centered wish. That's why uh, Fanuel wants to come in as the angel of truth. It's like a bull. It's like being weighed, kind of like along the energies of Mayotte, checking your heart as it light as a feather. And what they want you to know is they're saying it's time for you to wish for yourself what you wish for everybody else. You've, you've apparently from the beginning been very action oriented in regards to others, in regards to the world, in regards to work, in regards to getting things done. And they're like, let's get to the sun. Let's get to the center of the solar system. Let's get to this immediate record that's spinning around your life, your song, your soul song. Let's get to you. Okay, because that's how the wish gets granted. Everything you've ever desired and wished for, for this world, for it to be a better place, for people to get along, for... Um, 
you know, it to not just be dominated by money, that people should be able to have food and, and have safety and covering and community and love and, and help and understanding, that whole thing. It rests in you. We're saying they, they want you to pray for yourself as you pray for others. Okay, so next time you start having those thoughts or those ponderings of God, this or, you know, life that or, I wish it were this, or I wish it were that. Say, I wish this for me. Okay, they're saying directly, turn around. You know, like the uh, if you point one finger, the, the three are pointing back at you. Turn it towards yourself and pray it for yourself. Because you're the energy through which life is making contact with this earth. It's almost like you're, you're the drop point, the checkpoint. But you're, you're more than just a point. You're more than just a service, a servant, that type of a thing. You are a vital part of life. So they want to contribute to your vitality. But meaning they need to get it to you before they can get it through you. Does that make sense? I hope so, Aries. So anyways, if y'all wonder why I'm looking funny, I'm, once they struck me with that and then the camera went out, it has been like, like a whole different perspective through the lens of these eyes. But anyways, a fanual there, the truth will become light and easy. And um, as they said, as it always should be, okay, and as it always is, it is pure, perfect balance, um, the, levitating, removing the resistance of force. But wouldn't it be removing the force of resistance? And they're like, Mm hmm Well, that's why I y'all... Hey, Aries, I'm back. What an intense session. Uh, a lot's going on. But I keep going anyway. That's why y'all weren't like, I'm going to hold you back. You guys were like, bring it on, bring it on. So I'm bringing it on despite it all. We're just moving right on through. We're ducking and dodging. Like we're playing football, making our way down the line to score a touchdown. That's right, baby. Um, so anyways, alongside the wishbone, the wish granite, and fanual, the, the lightness, the levitation, that energy of the truth coming along about, you were talking about um, levitating being the ability to reduce the force and the friction. So underneath it says it's all coming together. What you're telling me here is, is you can't separate them, kind of like the chicken and the egg, the acorn and the oak, that type of a thing. They're inseparable. The two exist as a law, as an understanding, as a, um, well, just like latitude and longitude. They coexist. Okay, Metatron, Sandal Fawn. It's coexisting. Coexisting. Okay, so, Fanuel, which card do you want to bring in here? Of course, the Mary L. Woo! Lots of itching going on. Lots of tingling, percolating. So, what's coming together here with this truth? Hang on, I felt I felt something. I wasn't looking, but okay. All right, for um, the Faneuil, the Angel of Truth, how it's all coming together. Y'all have a lot to say, so tune into a handful of readings. The thing about mine not having dates put on them is. We're all coming from different directions, different places. Like you and I, how we get to Waffle House might be a different way, right? Because you're coming from where you are. I'm coming from where I am. So we need, we pass different checkpoints at different times. So anyways, you're letting me know you, there's more surrounding this that you might want to know. And I could say the coming weeks, but it might be in other Aries readings or other parts of your sign that you're seeking to know on this. Your compliment, your compliment. Okay. What is across from Aries? I don't know, but take your chart and look directly across. There we go. That is it. That's what they want you to look at. Knight of Wands. I need two more on this. What is this Knight of Wands coming in for? Of course, you... Thank you. This power that they're talking about, this levitation power is in your hand. And they're saying you've done it before and you know you have. They're saying don't forget what you're made of. Okay? That's... that's resonating it's trickling down this wisdom this knowledge this knowing of self and it's more than like up here of oh yeah this is what i'm about this is who i am no the command they're saying is know thyself 
and being in that, it's confirmation. It's beyond being confirmed. It's beyond um, self-assurance. It's confirmation of yourself. You like proof is in the pudding, baby. And pudding goes great with turkey. And that wish is granted. You want the whole wish, not part inseparable. This levitation power in your hands about the ability to see life as a whole. Okay, being whole-brained. They haven't chatted about that in a moment. So do go back to some previous ones, maybe like a month or so ago, um, and look at the complimentary sign for Aries. I wish I could tell you what it is right now, but I'm not going to take time to do that. Um, seeing it whole-brained, putting it together so it's not just the logic, it's not just the esoteric or the creative power. It is having no limitations because you're you're fully they're still going there you're fully unionized um you're fully unionized not unified unionized oh Psst. y'all now i'm drunk feeling this is quite an energy session you're unionized and that's what the message yesterday about the way home it's a collective reading They said it's in your nose. That that the homing mechanism, it is like um well, we're open in that gate here. I'm not gonna shut it whether just because they don't keep going on about it, okay? That's something that has just opened. Thank you. They they unionize, being unionized, uh bypassing the um corpus callosum, the kind of cellophane wrap that separated the halves of our brain around 10 to 12 years of age some people when you have birth trauma or other traumas it'll seal up beforehand and it's like you know what to do but you can't actuate it like put the plug into the socket because it has one of those socket covers like those little toddler protection things going in there which he says this is why i am coming the nine of cups man bad ass baboonery I'm stumped, y'all. I'm stopped. Look at this. This has to do with that logical form because look at the ground you're standing on here. You've got the onk in the hand. You've got the polarizing power. You've got beyond the high priestess here. It's beyond the emperor here. It is where they were talking about that energy beyond the universe, beyond the cosmos. That is what you're talking about here. And it's looking to that. Looking to that. You're talking about the penetrating of the layers. That stairway to heaven, that, that unionization of heaven and earth. So not just here, but here as well. And they're, they're showing it like an accordion player, the, the type that played just the squeeze box, like moving it together and about, and you're free to move about and create this harmonization of the energies around you. So you are becoming a... We would say a magician of sorts in that, a cosmic creator. You're here to change our world. Your throne sits upon the oceans. And when you, when you establish it, when you make that connection of heaven and earth, that 4D, it rolls and peels back the waters. It awakens like it's even beyond the scorpionic level who they were the ones who shook open the four eyes. They took it from being centralized here and they broke it open into this kind of kind of like this pattern i use the back of the angelarium as the symbol of what it's like about the chakra remember how we were unfurling the ladder uncurling the ladder of dna in order to place tension points activation points in the chakras so that they become these um gateways these energetic gateways to draw things towards us and to process things out of us but it's like that squeeze box spiraling day and night, rhythms, patterns, cues. It's just like, like the lungs of, of heaven and beyond what we think heaven, because we think blue skies and all this. No, it is like cosmic. It's beyond the black. It is the light beyond the darkness. It is the full penetration into what you knew all along. Into this. Look up inside. Look up inside. whole world just got really quiet 
And coming in along with that to grab and gravitate that energy. And so that makes perfect sense because you're saying land the point. So they were bringing in latitude and longitude. And you might need to listen to this again because you'll begin to understand they've been weaving fabric quadrants. It's not just, it, you know, when you weave, it's the threads are laid this way. I mean, laid this way and you come across. There's quadrant energy going on. It's a, it's a quad form. It's that establishment that Metatron was talking about. So here they're saying beyond the latitude and longitude, the, the penetrating point is gravity. Okay, it is your point on the map, it is why you owning yourself and your truth and who you are and standing in that and being confirmed in it, your importance is the gravity. It is the landing point. It is the arrival destination. You are the destiny. Let's be clear on that. You are the destiny. You are the destiny. See that point hovering above you? You are the destiny. Be sure of that. Be confirmed in that, my friend. So here, along with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, that 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 levitation power in your hand, that um, complementary energy, the comings and goings, because that's the irony. As I said, the way we've seen things is often um, not the way they really are. Like to the mind's eye, lightning strikes and comes down this way, when really lightning is the electricity being sucked out of the earth. It travels so fast that the appearance is that it's this way, when really it is zipped from bottom up, if that makes sense. Um, so they're telling us if we knew that we were planted right on the cosmic creation, the source of everything we need, that often we're hitting a ceiling, calling out, thinking there's something beyond us. It doesn't hear us. It doesn't know. It already came down. It's inside us. It's in the core, in the center of the earth. Unclot it. Unclog it. Open up. It's between the eyes, unionized, in the nose. Go back and watch that one. The way home. Y'all, they said it was going to happen. And I told them I wouldn't stop it. So no longer about the high priestess like this. It's like this. It is that readiness, that receptivity to heaven here on earth, to everything being all right. And right doesn't mean right or wrong, good or bad, dark or light. It's, no, that's polarizing. Remember, we're unionized. We're unionized. And in that things being right means being this, being confirmed, being who you are, your point on the map, that gravity, this, this going on here, setting your throne in the middle of the waters and saying, I am moving out of my way. And you can see the waters here peeling back and revealing a firm foundation, solid ground under your feet, full connection to who and what you are and where you come from and what you're about and all that you ever, ever need. Aries. In case you didn't know, this has been Chiron all along, the great healer, the magnifier of our power. He's, he's like stirring, almost grinding like a mortar and pestle, breaking very sandal fun, makes total sense. Breaking it down, making it easy to swallow, bringing it in in the essentials, reconstituting self. So here, it, that kind of easy. Every little thing is going to be all right. All the systems have been aligned in building the framework for this for millennia is what they're saying. And it's time to step into the garden of truth. The garden of truth. We are capable of this, y'all. Magical miracle powers. What they want is the hunger and long and thirst for what is, is that for, for others, but for us as well. They wanted that balanced understanding, that completeness of knowing we matter too. All lives matter. All life matters. Every breath, every moment, every dialogue, every conversation. No wonder when I went to go meditate, they're like, get over there. That is the reading. I turned around and I was like, all right, I'm ready. Y'all going to have to lead this one up because I haven't seen that configuration before. But it doesn't matter. I haven't seen anything they give me. I get to walk through it with you and be gobsmacked just like you and startled and, and awakened and alive just like you. That's why it's joy to the world. 
We are all different out here. But we're all the same right here. That You're letting me know that's our humanity. That's our humanity that had been clotted, clogged. That, that arteries, the veins, that's what Metatron Sandalfon are saying is the power is in being human. The power is in being human because we have the flesh and bones and the blood and the things. We're made of the things of the earth and therefore like begets to like, draws to like, is unto like. The lights are on. The lights are on. The home fires are burning. The candles are lit. The lights are on. Even though it's broad daylight, know that you are sought. You are desired. You are anticipated. And you are enjoyable, lovable, the searchable. They're looking for you. You're looking for you. The gate was left ajar. It's like that. And they're saying... I can't see them. They're not in the presence of this car, but their energy is. The hands are going, come on in. Come on in. This is heaven on earth. This place was made for you. This is who we are. Wow. Now, I lost a card on the other side, which I'm not going after it unless I need it. So anyways, this is what we were talking about right here. This is deot, emptiness, null. It's the fool, y'all. You know, the, this being open. Yesterday in one of the readings, they were talking about knowing nothing. To know nothing is to know the capital N, nothing. We could say to know nothing is to know everything. But in a sense, to know nothing is to be open, to be teachable. And that is the true wisdom. True wisdom. Being open to your potential of who you are. Being human. Does it mean you're uh, dominant and controlled by systems? Remember, you want the mastery of the systems. You want to understand the mastery of humanity and not so that you'll be great or whatever, but to elevate the, um, the essence of our world, of our connection to it, of our understanding with it, of the garden of delights, of this life, the heaven on earth, of all things being good for everyone. People being right because they're who they are. Not the right or wrong, black or white, day or night, polarizing, shifty-eyed, whatever, you know, coagulated junk. This light and easy, the truth. Then you will. We are all one. This draws all things to you, by the way, y'all. You open the eye of God, which is all things, the omni, the, the eye, the, the whole, the one, the nothing. The void is where all things come from because nothing is in the way. It's a clear channel being receptive and ready, cleaned out, pure of heart, knowing that it's not about the system of leveraging or advantages or not taking advantage or any of that flip-flopping of the mind, the shifting of the tides, the energy, that sort of thing. No, it is this commanding confirmation that you were born for this. It's all coming together. And that restores your sanity. Time to catch up regardless. Uprising energy. You know, it may look like you have a broken wing, like you don't have it all figured out, like you're a mess, like uh, things didn't work out. That's only part of the story. And, you know, Paul Harvey has, you know, passed on to the other side, but we invite you in, Paul Harvey, because you could look him up. He used to do these reports called, and now the rest of the story, Paul Harvey. What a fantastic person. He always fascinated me as a, as a girl. As a small child, I wanted to listen to what he had to say because I realized what he had to say was important because he was saying what had been left unsaid. He was saying what had been swept under the rug. He was saying what had been overlooked or ignored. And I think that's what Sandalfon and Metatron are saying here. Like, I feel a surge of their, like, their compassion for us. 
is they say it's all in the humanity. The compassion, the life, the blood, the, the oxygen in our veins, in our arteries, and, and the lightness in our veins. This desire, this beauty. I'm going to get a um, credit card on this with Dayot to bring this all home for us. <laughs> of course. Y'all, these are some little handmade cards that they would channel through to me to um, to speak to you guys. And I love it. It's called Fat With Dew. You see that? It's like, they're saying it's like the triune, your eyes and your nose, working in, in full harmony there. And this is a straw. Remember, it's going in, it's drinking it up. It's like that, that connection point, the gravity, the who you are, puts you in full connection to allow the energy of this cosmic world that is all up above us, that planted itself underneath us to provide us loving connection tangible support that's why we became human that's the way it wanted to express itself is in with and through our humanity and and give us the rewards and the reminders and the refreshment of where we come from these stars here on earth but that's that electric power that union eyes right what do you say about that Aries hmm. I'm there with you it's funny because my Chiron is in Aries interesting I'll take a listen back to this and walk through it with you guys on that side of the lens aren't we all wiser now who knows what your spirit what your soul what your mind and body are going to do with this what your guides are going to lead and move you into I look forward to hearing about it I'm so excited to know what your facet of life is, what your color is in the crayon box, what your flavor of divineness is. It makes me excited. The vibrance of who we all are together, the great expression. I love you all. We'll talk soon. Bye.